Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Today I'm going to varnish the um, this coat rack that I did a while ago. Um, my husband's starting to question, when are you ever going to finish my coat rack? Um, <laughs> I am so good at painting and the uh, speed at which I finish things is not particularly uh, a high end priority. Now, first of all, what am I going to use? Normally on my most, most of my paintings I just use a spray varnish, um, picture varnish. But because this one's actually going to have coats and bags and things actually hanging on it, banging around on it, it needs something extra. So I'm using this old polyurethane clear that I found in our shed. I'm tipping it everywhere. Um, what I've got, as, as it says on it, I've stirred it with my little flat stick. It is going to give it a yellow tinge um, and only a small amount. Now, one of the things that somebody posted on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group the other day was they've used Minwax to seal their paintings and um, it looked fantastic and then um, a month later the Minwax had gone yellow and um, was looking really crappy. It had totally turned all their whites to yellow and she was really not happy about it. So I highly recommend um, choosing your sealers wisely. Um, I'm only using this on here because it is going to be it needs to have such a durable finish on it. Um, so please, 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 if you're doing artwork that is to be used as artwork and not as a, um, a household piece like this, please choose your sealers wisely. Um, experiment, play with it, do a piece and leave it for a month or so and get a real sense of what it does over time before you go ahead and as this sweet lady did, um, paint 15 paintings with it. Um, so as you can see I'm using a cut up kitchen sponge and um, that is purely because I'm very averse to cleaning brushes. <laughs> I'm an artist and I'm averse to cleaning brushes. How funny is that? Um, especially when they are oil based. Uh, and this definitely is oil based, hence I'm doing this outside. Uh, how can you tell if it's oil based? Well, technically it should say on on it, but have a look at the dry time. Water based tend to only have a dry time um, of three or four hours max, whereas oil based will have a 17, yeah, four plus hours at least. Um, So I'm using this little sponge and after this one coat I am going to throw it away and I've got another sponge for the next, uh, I've got other pieces of the same kitchen sponge to do the next layers. Um, I will be doing three layers and this is a um, 16 hour dry time between coats and 72 uh, yeah so that definitely indicates it's an oil based 16 hour dry time between coats is there's no way that's an oil, a, 
our water base. So I'm just giving it a good soaking, really, um, but I am wiping off the excess with with varnish. If you leave a thick layer anywhere, um, you tend to get air bubbles on it. Well, that's what I've found anyway. Um, so I'm just making sure all of it is covered. As I said, I'm going to be doing three coats, so there's no big massive concern about it. Uh, and definitely want to get them covered. Get it all coated and doing yummy. The other thing, as I said, um, the other reason I'm doing this outside is oil base tends to smell hideous. Um, make sure you do it in a well ventilated area and uh, and leave it to dry in a well ventilated area as well. Please, please, please do not do this in your bedroom. Uh, <laughs> you will wake up with an exceedingly, exceedingly sore head. Well, I would. So there we go, there's the first coat. Um, I've just got this sitting on a plastic box upside down with my tins and that way I can pick that whole unit up and move it to wherever I want it to be. And um, then we will be good to go for the next one, next coat, once it's, this one's dried. So I'm going to leave this out here while I go inside and do some painting. See you soon. I will, um, I'm not going to show you each of the coats, but I will show you it completely finished and hanging with coats on. So I will see you at the end of this process. Okay, so I have done three coats of that and Although it said it was clear, it's so old that it has actually, I'll show you, left a bit of a um, yucky, yellowy, stainy bit looking. It does look stained rather than thing. And it doesn't have a nice shine on it. So out comes my paint spray and we're going to give it a spray. Uh, just get it, give it a couple of coats of this and let's see if it will come up nice and shiny again. So this one only requires sort of a half an hour between coats. Um, so it should be done today, and I'll be able to hang it. Yay! The better way to do this is put a bit of tape on your drill bit. So can you pass me the plug again so I can check how deep I've gone? <laughs> right, the black tape is easy to do. Just like that. get any better than that guys so there you go final finished product up on the wall looking fantastic and hidden in the laundry 
What's right about that? We're not getting. Anyway, I'm probably going to pour a couple more of these. Um, I reckon the boys need them behind their doors for their. Um, <laughs> for their um, dressing gowns and jerseys and jackets and things. So uh, you'll probably see some more of these on the channel in the coming weeks. See you soon. Bye bye.